Seriously, literally nobody asked for this tutorial on Peter, but I'm going to do it anyway because you know what? It's my channel and I can do whatever I want. Um, I, I just saw the ad. You're in. Hey, what is going on Drive2 Crew? Ramdi here with a brand new drawing tutorial uh, for you guys. Today we are going to be drawing Peter as he appears in the trailer for Deadpool 2, this hilarious character whom we know nothing about. Before we start you guys, if you are brand new to this channel, welcome here in this channel. I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from comic books, video games, books, movies, TV shows, etc, etc. So if you guys like what you see, definitely uh, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new drawing video. So this was just a spur of the moment video. I wasn't going to make it, but uh, I, I was going to draw Peter anyway because I found him hilarious hilarious in the uh, trailers so I thought you know what I'll just make a tutorial so that you guys will enjoy him too. I have no idea what he's going to be like in the movie. Maybe he's gonna be a dud. Maybe he's gonna be this awesome breakout character. I'm hoping that he's gonna be a breakout character because uh, he's awesome and uh, yeah so that's that. So let's go ahead and draw Peter this dad bod looking average looking normal guy. My name's Peter. <laughs> Here are the tools that you're going to need for this Peter tutorial. You will need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. You guys keep in mind three things as you're watching this tutorial. Number one, if you find that I'm going way too fast, make sure to hit that pause button or that uh, speed button down at the bottom right so that you guys can slow down or stop this video so that you guys can catch up. Number two, of course, I had to leave out some details for the sake of keeping this video short. So make sure to add those details back in. It's your drawings, you guys. Make sure you uh, embellish, make it your own. That's completely up to you. And of course, number three, if your drawings look nothing like my drawing, or look nothing like the actor who plays Peter in the in the movie whose name escapes me at the moment. That is completely fine. As long as you guys are satisfied with your drawings, that's all that matters. So you guys, having said all of that, let's get right on with the tutorial. All right, you guys. So for Peter, I've got my paper in portrait mode and we're gonna be drawing him uh, kind of just up to mid thigh. Let's, get, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a circle at the top of my page here about this big. Of course, that's going to be for the head. Okay, and then two lines going down, kind of round, and then more like an oval. Okay, little neck here and little neck over here. So there's there's our head right there. And of course, we're gonna fill in the details a little bit later. Now let's draw the let's draw the um, shoulders. Uh, I do want to say that uh, you don't want to draw the neck like too wide because I mean he's just an average looking dude right so you want to just make sure the neck is a little bit tiny okay and then I'm actually going to draw I'm gonna draw this first and that's gonna be for the collar and then the shoulder like this so the shoulder is gonna be about the width of the head on this side so here's the width of the head Okay, and then same thing on this side, width of the head. So there you go. So right here, one, two, three head width sizes. And that's kind of where we want the shoulder to go. You don't want the shoulder too broad. You don't want to lower it too much. Just uh, that's good. So we've got this line here, broad shoulders. And then let's continue on with the rest of the figure. Now his body is a little more than square. So imagine these two lines kind of going straight down there's there's like that square shape so you kind of want to uh, find that square shape and yeah just leave it to that we'll leave it like that and then here I'm just drawing where the elbow would be or where the where the upper arm ends and the lower arm begins okay so it goes like that and then it goes into his pants. So now imagine his pants. So they go wide over here because uh, his pants or his, his hands go in his pants. And then they go kind of inward, not too much, but the pants go in. And I'm just gonna draw a line going straight down. Matter of fact, I'm gonna draw a line from here all the way straight down. There you go. And that's our Peter uh, figure. And then let's just 
gonna bring those in. There you go, pretty much. Okay, so there's our repeater. Actually, before we do anything, let's bring a line going down from here. Kind of goes down to here, a little bit past that square, and then like that. So that's part of the jacket. And over here, it kind of it goes in and then back out like this. Okay, and it seems as if this is lower than this. It's kind of uneven. And there you go. So there's the other part of the jacket right there. There you go. So there's our basic Peter shape. Let's go ahead and fill in the details, starting with the head. Okay. There you go. So here's, let's fix that right there. Okay, so we are going to be drawing this eye line first. And then with the eye line, what we're going to kind of just do is round out the top. Those are going to be the top of the eyes. And then the bottom is a straight line. So that's how I'm going to be drawing Peter's eyes. Okay. Line underneath. So um, like that. Like a jolly, not angry face. He's uh, it's gonna be pretty happy in this one. Okay, with the nose, his nose kind of goes over here. I'm gonna draw a little bit of a circle for the nose, and then, and then on the sides, there, and then just bridge of the nose there. Pupils. There you go. I'm just gonna. They're half circles. And I'm just filling it in until I, I'm left with like a white circle inside. Okay, now uh, he's got a mustache. So let's let's draw the underneath the mustache. There you go. And he's going to have a big smile. Mustache covers the top or covers the top, the top lip, the upper lip, and goes up to the, the bottom of the nose. So there you go. And it's pretty thick. Okay. Those are the teeth. Here's the lower lip. Then the bottom, the lower lip. I'm going to color that in. There. Okay. Let me erase a couple of these guidelines here. Eyebrows. Just got one eyebrow raised a little bit higher than the other. This is a screenshot from the trailer, so that's how it looks. Of course, this is the interview scene where he's uh, he answers the call from the from the ad that Deadpool uh, put out there. Okay, there you go. Let's draw these lines here, and then. Here's the chin, kind of rounded. So he's definitely starting to look like a dad. Here, I don't want any sharp, sharp corners. You want that kind of a rounded, rounded look to him. Kind of like that. A little bit of a wrinkle there. And same thing on the other side, except here you see a little bit of the ear. Oh, got a little bit of this eraser on my, under my finger now. All right, so let's draw the ear first. inside of the ear, essentially just a letter C. There you go. Okay, and this goes down to the neck. And of course the over here has got like another, I'm actually going to open this up. I'm not gonna close that. And I'm gonna bring this down like this so that it goes down to the bottom of the, so it's got like that double chin, double chin look. And I'm very familiar with that because I have two chins too when I look down. Okay, let's draw the other ear this time around. A little bit more hidden than the other one. Bring this up a little. Okay, jolly happy, happy lines there. And then let's draw the, the hair. I love, I, we, we don't even know much about this character, but I just love how 
happy-go-lucky he looks in the trailer. And the best part, I think, was when he's jumping off the uh, jumping off the plane. Okay, right here. Here's the part. So I'm gonna draw this going down to the side, out like that. Here it goes this way. Okay, over here. Goes like that up there. And then down here, make that forehead a little bit smaller. Goes down to the sideburns. And then just balance it out. There. There's Peter. Let's zoom out and let's start working on Peter's body, you guys. Starting with the collars that we left. So we're going to start off, actually, let's start all the way down the jacket here. And what we're going to do is the zipper first. That's just a rectangle, essentially, with a hole in, in the middle. And then here is, I'm going to take this straight line and I'm going to kind of make it zigzaggy and then bring it up to there. Okay, right around the chest part, you wanna start going to the left. And then from here, it goes to the back. Okay, let's double up on that line. So this, of course, is the zipper line. There you go. And then from here, it's gonna bring that up like that. Okay, same thing over here now. This comes out, right? Now let's go back down here, make this line zigzag. As soon as you get to this part, come out to there. Okay, double up on that line. Same thing here. Make this go up, and there you go. Now, collar. So let's make a V first right here. From this V, this goes around to there. And same thing here, this goes up to the neck like that. Right here, comes out like this. And then goes up, up right here. And then to the back. Okay. So let me just Erase a few lines here to make it clearer. There. Okay, now same thing over here. This goes down this way. And then goes up like this. And then I'm erasing that part. I'm just gonna make it go up like that. So here we have the collar. Little button here. I'm gonna make that an oval because of the angle. There you go. And that's good. Now <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me laugh just looking at this guy because he looks like an average, average dude. Okay, from here, I'm going to kind of follow to the left side of the center line all the way down to here. And this is kind of where I'm going to leave the belt. I'm going to leave the button kind of untucked um, or tucked in, but sort of not, not fully tucked in. So it's kind of got this loose fabric to it with some lines going like that. Okay, let's go back over here. And from here, I'm going to draw another line going down. And of course, this is on the other side of that center line. Okay, now let's balance out. Let's figure out how to draw uh, a button here first. Let's draw a button there and a button over here. Okay, and then we got to figure out how to add four more buttons in between. So it's just me trying to space it out. I think these, this needs to go up a little higher. So there, 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 and there. We'll just leave it like that. No big deal. There you go. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six buttons going all the way down. And um, if you guys want to add the pattern, it's plaid. So lines going down. 
okay, and then lines going across. Here as well. Of course, over here, if you draw the lines over here, they're a little bit angled, so they're not parallel. That's the shirt. And of course, let's not forget the plaid pattern going on the collar. There. <laughs> now, we've got the jacket. Um, the top part of the jacket where uh, the collar is popping. I'm going to draw a line there and there. And actually, I could add more details and just had lines going up and down. Okay, there you go. Now let's go from the armpit now. There's going to be some folds from the armpit going up. There you go. The shoulder is like that. And same thing over here. Armpits, armpit wrinkles going up like this. Also the seam goes up. So here's the seam to the corner. There. Okay. Over here also goes out to the arm, and then let's start drawing the arm in. Rounded and rounded over here. Okay, sides of the jacket, let's continue with the sides. So that goes like this, and then down, okay? And then as soon as you get to the bottom, let's actually start over here. I'm gonna draw a straight line here and here, and then single line, not straight, going like that, okay? And then here, kind of want wrinkles going out like that. And then here, it goes up as well. So it kind of makes this funny fold over here. It looks a little funny, let me fix that up. There you go. Okay, right here, I'm just gonna draw some fabric folding like that. Okay, on the other side, this goes, sticks out, and it goes in like this. Okay, he's got a little pocket over here. And that pocket looks like there's something inside, so um, you can kind of just create this illusion like there's something inside. I'm gonna fold this like this, so that fabric goes like that, and this goes in this. So there's the jacket, looks uneven on purpose. There. Okay, now let's go back over here. And the way that I'm just, the easiest way to uh, mark off like fabric folds, because drawing, drawing fabric folding is actually pretty complicated, is just to create a bunch of lines coming out like that. Okay, here's the elbow, and then this goes down, and then as soon as, as soon as the sleeve, the hand goes in the sleeve, like here's the, the actual sleeve, and then it's got the same fabric as the neck, like that, so it's a different material. This goes out and then in, actually goes in this way, and then There you go. Add some details. So there's there's the arm going into the pocket like that. And then let's go over here. There you go. Like that. And there. The same thing over here where the hand or the arm reaches the pocket. This different material. Okay, and then this juts out and back in like this. There you go, and then let's just finish it off with a couple of wrinkles. Like that. So there you go. 
I don't know why this cracks me up when I see it. Let me just draw some details here and here. Just lines going down there. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is really cracking me up. And I mean, nobody really asked for this tutorial, like I said, and uh, it's just, it's just funny. It's just really funny. And I want to draw him. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to just show you guys how to draw Peter. There. Last thing. Done with that. Last thing, belt. Belt goes around. It's a belt buckle over here. It's rectangular. Okay, belt loop, belt loop. And here's the belt. There you go. Okay. Right around here is where the the crotch of the pants are. And you just want like fabric, just just wrinkles coming out from the crotch this way, okay? And then, of course, right here, on this side of the center, line going down, and then, of course, on this side, line going down, and then curves in like that, okay? Right here, we just draw some wrinkles from the belt, kind of fabric feeling stretched, not too much. Okay, there you go. A little bit of his, the shape of his arm sticking out like that. And then we're just gonna end it off with kind of line over here. And then this goes in and this goes inward. So that's That's it. <laughs> there. We're done with our Peter drawing. That's it, you guys. This is more of a gag uh, tutorial than anything else. Uh, he's just a really funny character from the trailer that I wanted to draw and show you how to draw. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Peter uh, tutorial. And uh, stay tuned for more tutorials from this channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. And that is all the time that we have for this tutorial. Thank you, you guys so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that I made and I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for everybody to see or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw it too. I love seeing your artwork, you guys makes me super happy to see it. And I really want to see your Peter drawings as well. If you guys are interested in the tools that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link uh, down in the description of this video so that you guys can check it out. I have, um, I made a list of all the supplies that I use and all my equipment. So make sure to check that out. I said that twice. Of course, you guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. If you liked this video, commented below, uh, nice positive comment, of course, or subscribe, hit that subscribe button and share this with your friends in your social media. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this Peter tutorial that we did in this video. Again, links to all of those down in the description below. Finally, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.